the olive trees. <laughs> okay. Just over 1,750,000 trees on the island. And they are mainly struba. Struba only occur on Thassos. They don't naturally occur anywhere else. And the struba olive is that little black olive that you get in your salad. They have been pickled in brine. Okay? Uh, and just to give you a rundown of how it works for the olive trees. Every three to five years, in about uh, March, March, April, the trees will be pruned. Okay, so the prunings, you have firewood. Okay, then in early November, you will start picking the olives. And the through battery produces either only black or only green or a mixture of the two so normally what happens is the green go for oil the black get pickled uh, some people can't be bothered so they just press a lot okay this factory here this is an olive oil factory it's a cooperative olive oil factory and what will happen is that you will bring your olives I'll bring my olives and they get weighed in okay and then when everybody's finished bringing their olives what will happen is they're pressed and then it's calculated per kilo okay generally it's been it varies a little bit from year to year but between 12 and 15 percent thereabouts so, not a lot, is it? And the work is very, very hard. So if anybody's got any romantic ideas about coming and picking olives, just put it out of your head. <laughs> okay. it, it's mechanised now. <laughs> not in my brother's. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a compressor with an airline, three metre aluminium pole. And at the end of the aluminium pole, you've got what looks like two garden rakes and they do this okay so you put it up into the branches you've got your nets down here the olives fall down now it sounds easy doesn't it most people i've seen they last about 15 minutes and that's it for the day they're done for okay most of us start when the sun comes up in the morning we have a coffee break we have lunch we have a break in the afternoon and then you finish when the sun goes down and someone will pay you about 40 euros for doing it okay so big money okay we're talking big money <laughs> anyway <laughs> so you've had your firewood you've now got your olive oil if you've pickled your olives you've got olives to eat and some of these trees, probably the one that you're leaning against there, I don't know, 300 years old. <gasps> so when you, when you go to an island and you see the developers moving in and cutting down these big trees so that they can create a hotel, so they can create studios, all that you have to remember is that's two or three, possibly even 500 years of history. And these trees will have been handed down, you know, if you, if you think to yourself, a tree is 300 years old, how many generations of the family of that? So, it's part of your family, gives you heat from when you burn the wood, gives you food to eat, olive oil to use. Average Greek family will use probably about 50, 55 to 60 litres of oil a year. Yeah, well, there you go. So, right. okay. some, some of you may have noticed that there's, there's different colour paint. White over here. Uh, 
obviously another colour from yeah. here. But you may see blue, you may see red, orange, whatever. All that it denotes is who they belong to. Because, for instance, my grandfather might give me ten trees here. His grandfather might give him ten trees right next to me. Because traditionally that's been in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we do is we paint them a different colour. You're not going to go to the expense of building a wall or putting up a fence. Just people know which trees belong to them. So there we go guys. That was your last stop. Thank you very much. Thank you.